Hey y'all, it's Crystal here. Today we're learning how to make this plaid waffle stitch crochet dishcloth. We're using dishy yarn, a number four medium worsted weight yarn. You'll need about 200 yards, 100 each of two different colors. I'm using a red and a green in pomegranate and Douglas fir. The crochet hook I'm using is a four and a half millimeter US size G plus hook. Our finished dish cloth is 10 inches wide by 12 inches long. We'll start with our red color first. Get a slip knot on my hook and I'm going to chain two to get started with the foundation double crochet stitch. You can also do chains and then work double crochets back into those chains. If you do that, you would chain 43, double crochet in the third chain from your hook. Those skip chains do not count. Then double crochet in each chain across we're going to work 14 red double crochets for our foundation and then change to green for 13 and then finish with 14 double crochets again in red. So we'll have 41 stitches total, 14 red, 13 green, 14 red. Here I'm showing you how to foundation double crochet. I also have tutorials on how to do this which I can link up for you, but in a minute here I'm going to show you how to change colors on the foundation row as we go. Okay, so I need 14 double crochets in red. On the last stitch in this color, you're going to stop before the last movement, which is here. I would normally yarn over and pull through to finish. I'm going to drop the red and leave it attached on the back there so I can pick it up on row two. I'm going to pick up my next color, the green. I'm going to yarn over and pull that through to join it. And now I'm only going to work in the green and continue. Now I'll foundation double crochet 13 in the green color and on that last stitch I'll change back to red. And then when I get ready to switch back to the red I will do it the same way. So I've divided my red into two balls or I have two balls of red so that I can have two balls joined on either side and then one ball of the green. So we'll just keep carrying the yarn with us as we go. Okay, I have 12 green. Now I'm going to make the last one, which is 13. So I'll start it as normal. Stop before my last yarn over. Drop the green to the back, which I'll pick up on row two and continue with. Pick up my other end of red here. Pull that through. And now I'm ready to finish the last 14 stitches in red. All right, turning for row two. When we come to each color, we will continue to stop on the last motion of the last stitch, pick up the green, drop the green, pick up the red here, and just continue working the first 14 stitches in red, the middle 13 stitches in green, and the last 14 stitches in red. I'll start each row with a chain three alternative. You can use a regular chain three if you like. double crochet in the next and then we'll do our front post stitch. Row two is the right side of our work. We're going to double crochet in the next three.
and it's time to front pose double crochet in the next one. And then we'll just repeat that across three double crochets, front post double crochet until you have the last two stitches left. Remembering to change colors when you get to the green, and I will show you that now. And then change back when you get to the red again. Okay, we're on our last stitch of red, so we're not going to work the whole thing. We're going to start it like normal. Instead of pulling through that last one, we drop the red to the back, pick up our green. I'm going to yarn under here and pull that through so I don't have a really big float there. I want to make sure it's enough to where it goes up to the height. Tighten the back of the red a little. And then just continue. We just did three double crochets, so it's time for a front post stitch on that first green. This tail is from our join. We'll weave that in at the end. Then it's time to do three double crochets. And then a front post double crochet. Okay, we're on the last green stitch of the row, which for the green will be a front post double crochet. So we're going to start that stitch like normal. And before our last yarn over, drop the green to the back. Get my yarns mixed up here. Drop the green to the back and pick up your red, pull through. Tighten those up. Now this is our first red stitch and we need a regular double crochet. So we're working that. And then we're working two more regular double crochets. And then a front post double crochet. Keep repeating that until we have two stitches left. Last front post stitch of the row. Two stitches left at the end here. Just place a double crochet in each one of those. Oops. Now you're ready to turn your work. For row three, we'll start with a chain three or alternative like I'm doing here. 
and double crochet in the next. Then we're going to back post double crochet in the following. And then in the next three, we have front post double crocheting. And then back post double crochet in the next. And then that's your repeat across. Again, changing to your green in the same way on the last movement of the last stitch in the previous color. You'll pick up your green so you have it ready. Work your 13 stitches in green, changing on the last color back to the red. Keep carrying that yarn up the center. Drop the red to the back, yarn under and pull that green through. Make sure you pull it up high enough. Tighten up your red. We just did three front posts, so now we are working a back post, I believe, on that green. Right, last stitch of our green is a back post. Begin it like normal. Stop and drop the green to the back. Yarn under and pull up along. Float there with the red through that last stitch. Now we're back to front post double crochet in red. When you get to just two stitches left, you're going to double crochet in the top of those two stitches. And then turn your work. Okay, you can see our waffle stitch pattern coming out here. Very nice. And now we are at just a two row repeat. We'll keep repeating row two and row three until we have eight rows and then we'll change colors. So here I'm going to start with a row two repeat. Continue working the first 14 in red, the middle 13 in green, and the last 14 in red. So we start with our chain three or alternative, double crochet in the next, front post around the next, double crochet three.
front post in the following. And just keep repeating those stitches across, changing as we did. And then when we turn, you'll repeat row three on the back there like we did, repeating those two rows. Okay, so now I'm on the last stitch of my red and it's going to be time to change to the green. So I just stop before the last yarn over, drop the yarn to the back, pick up the green, yarn over and pull that through. And now I'm ready to work my front post stitch in green. And then the next 12, so I have 13 stitches in green here in the center. And here I am now ready to do my last green stitch, the 13th stitch. So I start my front post double crochet as normal. Stop here, drop to the back, pick up, yarn over and pull through. Now I'm ready to use the red to work the last 14 stitches. Always following the same repeat. Okay, now we're ready to do another row three repeat. Chain three or alternative. Double crochet. Back post, double crochet. And then front post, double crochet in the next three. Back post, double crochet. And then repeat those across until the last two stitches where you'll just double crochet in the last two. Remembering to change to your green and back to your red when you get to those. Okay, I'm going to finish the rest of my rows off camera here. And when I have eight rows, I will go ahead and switch colors. So you'll end after a row two repeat, which is on the front of the work, and then it will be time to change colors. So we're going to switch our blocks. So now we're going to have green, red, green. So I am going to back out of this last yarn over because I'll pull through my green there. But first I'm going to cut my yarn and I can get it all untangled here. And then I will reattach the green. And we have stopped here after a row two repeat. We're going to do 14 green, 13 red, and 14 green. We're going to start our row count over here. We'll call this row, row one we're working. The first row we work after we change colors. So I'll trap this red tail and the green tail. And then we're starting with our chain three or alternative. Bring that one back this way. Okay, make sure our bit is good. Okay, 
double crochet in the next. So we're back post. Then we're going to place three double crochets here. And then back post. And then repeat that across, continuing to change our colors at the appropriate times. We'll have 14 green stitches, 13 red, and 14 green. So I'm dropping my green, picking up my red to pull through. And continue the stitch pattern back post, three double crochets. Oops. Back post. Once I have 13 red stitches here, I will switch back to green. Double crochet in the last two stitches of the row. And then turn. After every eight rows, we'll switch the color pattern and we'll start with a row one repeat like I did here. Okay, so from here, we are now on our right side. So we are going to work a row two repeat. But we'll have 13, I'm sorry, 14 green to start, 13 red, 14 green. And we'll continue repeating rows two and three now. Until we have eight rows total. So we'll end after a row two repeat. 
Okay, so we've done two sets of blocks. Now it's time to switch colors again. So we're going to do red, green, red. And we'll start with our color change. And then we are doing a row one repeat when we change color. So we'll be on the wrong side. Chain three, double crochet, and then you're going to back post, double crochet in the next. And then place three regular double crochets in the following three, one in each. And then back post, double crochet in the next. And then that will be your repeat across three double crochets, back post double crochet. Again, you'll change colors as normal. 14, 13, 14. And every time you switch to a new set of blocks with different colors, you'll start with this row one repeat. And then we'll go back to repeating rows two and three, ending on a row two repeat. which will give us an eight row block. Okay, so I'll finish off camera here after I change to my green, leaving that red attached, joining my green and continuing my stitch pattern, which the next stitch is that back post. I'll finish this row off camera and then we'll move on. Okay, we finished our row one repeat on our first color change and now we're ready to start a row two repeat and we'll do rows two and three until we have seven rows and then we'll do another row two repeat in this color. Okay, I have finished a third set of color blocks and I did the row one repeat, repeats of rows two and three, and then ending on a row two repeat for eight rows total. And now you can stop here and that can be a nice little square washcloth for you. Or you can go ahead and do another repeat of rows one through eight, adding on your next set of colors and starting with the row one repeat on the wrong side, then repeating rows two and three, ending with the row two for eight blocks. And you can just carry that on as you like. This one is 10 inches by 12 inches. And this one is a square with nine blocks of color. So it's about 10 inches by nine inches. Each of the blocks is about three inches tall. This would be a great washcloth size. Okay, I'll link up a couple finishing video techniques for you, like a single crochet border or maybe a hanging loop you'd like to add onto it. 